And welcome back to another video here for Enshrouded Survivors. Today, we're going to be diving back into the game, and I'm going to show you guys the best legendary farm. This is not going to only give you tons of legendary weapons, but this also will give you the top tier gear in the game for your class. So to give you guys an example, I'm going to show you guys a couple of pieces here. We have the Radiant Paladin set that you can get out of this. We also have the Eagle Eye set. As you can notice here, it does say level 25, which is the max level in the game for gear. And then we also have things like the elder set for those spell casters out there Alrighty, so now for the exact location of where this farming method takes place and that is right here um, if I go ahead and zoom back out and we head over here to the ancient spire of the low meadows fast traveling point from the ancient spire if you go directly east you'll see a big giant patch of shroud here and just on the other side of the shroud right on the corner of this cliff's edge this is where you're going to find and want to place your altar. So we're going to go ahead and uh, place our altar down. And now the reason why we picked this location for the altar, specifically for this building ring. You can see this orange ring, which is basically your building area. You want to try to get it as close as you possibly can to the outside of this chest. This chest right here is the chest that we're going to farm over and over again that, yes, will respawn legendaries. But you want to get as close as you possibly can, and I don't think you can get any closer than what I currently have this set up as. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and place down our altar. And then the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and build out uh, some of these ceiling tiles. We don't need to place down foundations. We're going to go ahead and place some ceiling tiles out. And we're going to get as close as we possibly can to this chest piece or uh, chest. So let's go ahead and place this one. And now once we've got all of our building pieces, we're going to go ahead and pull out a grappling hook pull anchor. Now you want one of these crafted as well. And now in order for you guys to utilize these or place them down, you can only place them on the side of a building piece. You can't place them flat on the ground, but we're going to go ahead and place one here. And now essentially what that will allow you to do is fast travel to this location. And then instead of having to run all the way over to here in order for you guys to unlock the chest every single time to farm it, you can go ahead and just zip line across. So we're going to go ahead and and zip line right there and then you'll be able to instantly loot the chest and then uh, teleport out and then rinse and repeat And there you go. That is essentially the easiest way to get legendary gear and the best gear in the game. The chest will always spawn level 25 items if it's related to gear, so you know you're getting the best quality that you can. And then last but not least here, all of the weapons and stuff that you can farm out of there, majority of the time, are legendaries. Not every single time, as you saw, we did get a handful of epics, but in general, it's a really fast method for you to farm legendaries, and if you utilize the building method with that grappling hook, it even saves you even more time by just grappling directly 
to the chest itself. I know it's not a strategy for everybody, and I know a lot of people might think it's some sort of exploit or, you know, hack or glitch, and it potentially is and could be fixed and patched in the future. But until then, I know a lot of people are using and abusing this method to get the best gear in the game. As always, guys, if you have any additional questions, drop a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on all of this. Don't forget to subscribe here on the channel for everything Enshrouded related. And with that being said, as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one.